Hey, what's happening? It's John here for another A50 tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to cover taking screenshots for your game quick shop. So, let's say, for whatever reason, you want to take a screenshot for your game. Maybe it's finished, maybe you're ready to start publishing it. Let's have a look at some of the techniques that you can do. So, first and foremost, we have the print screen screenshot technique. Classic, all reliable. Yeah, it's okay. Other than that, we also have the snipping tool. So if you just type in snipping tool into your search bar and you have this. This is obviously assuming you're working on Windows or Mac. What is it? All option 4, I think. So we've got that option. But hey ho, we don't want that. Now let's have a look at how we can take really good screenshots. So first and foremost, let's have a look at if we wanted to sort of set up a shot. So get your position set up right in the viewer. And what we want to do is we want to find this button here and go down to high resolution screenshot. And this is going to bring up this menu. And we've got a couple of options in here, which include like screenshot size multipliers. So if you want to take it like, say, uh, times two, times three, this is going to really add a lot of detail to your image. Include buffer visualizations with HDR and stuff. Let's not really concern ourselves so much with that. Let's just take the screenshot. And if we open up this folder, we can see we now have a screenshot. And it looks pretty good, pretty dynamic. And let's have a quick look at the size of it. 1620 by 720, because my monitor isn't that awesome. And that'll be what it's defined at. But, you know, we've got these other options as well. And this will probably take a bit longer to take a screenshot if you turn on your HDR for that really awesome lighting, then you're going to get what should hopefully be a slightly different quality image. Let's have a look. I press the screenshot one. This was going to take a bit of time because it's a bit more taxing on your graphics card. So depending on what graphics card you're rocking, it might be done quite quick. Um, or it might not. It might even crash if you've got a rubbish graphics card. And is that done? Did that do it? It did. Cool, so we've got all these extra files which we don't really need to concern ourselves with. And yeah, so now we've took two screenshots, one with HDR and one without. It doesn't look too much different. But I want to show you one more technique. This is what I do if I want to record a screenshot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my frame to where I want it. Let's get a bit of sunlight in the background and a bit of everything else that's going on. Yeah, something like that. That looks quite cool. So what we're going to do is press the key on your keyboard that's above the tab and left shift 1. It's got like three symbols on there. Do not know the name of this key. But this little option is going to come up at the bottom. We're going to type in high res shot. We're not going to stop there. We're going to type in, we're going to find what size that. So I'm going to go full HD 920 by 1080. I'm going to hit enter. Screenshot's taken. Let's go across to the folder. There we go. So now we have this more high res screenshot taken. And that looks really nice, got a lot of detail in there, and it's full HD. So yeah, there you have it guys. Those are a whole bunch of options for how you can take screenshots from Unreal. Hope you found that useful. Thanks for watching.